Pakistan's Deputy Prime Minister has confirmed that Pakistan requested U.S. Secretary of State Marco Rubio for ceasefire with India after Indian missiles hit multiple Pakistani air bases, and even Saudi Prince offered to speak to India's External Affairs Minister on behalf of Pakistan's Deputy Prime Minister, seeking to halt further action against Pakistan. India said that they were doing that at 2.30 a.m. کہ جی نور خان ایئر بیس پہ شور کوٹ ایئر بیس پہ دو ایئر پورٹس پہ انہوں نے پھر اٹیک کیے اسی رات کو چھ اور سات کی درمیانی رات کو تو وہ انہوں نے جو کوشش کی تو اس کے بعد بائی دی وے اس کے بعد ود ان فورٹی فائیو منٹس مجھے سعودی پرنس فیصل صاحب کا فون آیا اور انہوں نے مجھے وہی بات کی کہ بردر آئی ایئر جسٹ انڈرسٹوڈ کہ جی آپ کی بات ہوئی ہے روبیو سے اور اپنا ایم آئی آتھورائز ٹو ٹاک ٹو جے شنکر آلسو اینڈ کنوے کے یو نو یو آر ریڈی دیئر دے اسٹاپ ایسے یس بردر یو کین اور انہوں نے مجھے واپس فون بھی کیا میں پرنس فیصل نے کو بیس پچیس میں فون کیا کہ میں نے جے شنکر صاحب کو یہ کہہ دیا ہے پاکستان ہیز ونس اگین ایشیوڈ نو ٹائم فار دا راہم یار کان ایئر بیس ٹو ریپیئر دا رن وے ڈسٹروئڈ بائی انڈیا دیٹ اسٹل ریمینس آف لائن ایسٹیمیٹڈ ٹل فورتھ آف جولائی ٹو تھاؤزینڈ اینڈ ٹوینٹی فائیو فالوئنگ انڈیا سسپینشن آف دی انڈس واٹرز ٹریٹی ان ایپرل ریور فلوز ہیو ناؤ ڈراپڈ سگنیفیکنٹلی بائی ٹوینٹی پرسینٹ ان آل تھری میجر ریجنز آف پاکستان There are reports that Pakistan has leased two of its military bases to the United States for a major strike against Iran. The British Royal Navy's F-35B fighter jet has been stranded in India for the past six days. India had offered to relocate the F-35B to a hangar, to facilitate repairs by a British technical team, however, the offer was declined, leaving the aircraft exposed to heavy monsoon rains. Indian Air Force also proposed a temporary shed to shield the British ground crew and enable repair work, but this offer was also rejected by the Royal Navy. Indian and international investigative agencies have launched an investigation into the possible use of high-power microwave or electromagnetic pulse-based devices in the recent string of ship incidents in the Arabian Sea. The reports also mentions Turkey has developed advanced high-power microwave technology and investigators are now examining whether such devices were deployed in the Arabian Sea for sabotage. The DRDO is seeking government sanction for a hypersonic cruise missile program after the recent 1,000-second test of the indigenous scramjet engine. A Rafale Marine fighter jet of the French Navy successfully conducted the first operational launch of Meteor missile yesterday. The Ministry of Defense is planning changes to the existing defense acquisition procedure that will introduce a fast track system to finalize orders within six months, promote indigenous technology, boost ease of business for the private sector, and attract foreign direct investment. The DRDO has confirmed the development of the fin-stabilized armor-piercing discarding Sabot Mark III, which is a next-generation kinetic energy penetrator designed to significantly improve penetration depth and firepower of Indian main battle tanks. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has signed an agreement with France's Safran aircraft engines for the production of rotating parts for LEAP engines. India has started preparations to test the Mach 8 capable extended trajectory long duration hypersonic cruise missile under Project Vishnu that is 3 times faster than BrahMos missile and has a range of 1500 kilometers which is also 3 times larger than the existing BrahMos missile which means that this hypersonic missile provides strategic planners with unprecedented flexibility in targeting options and also reduces the need for forward deployment of launch platforms Along with the offer to develop a 120 kN thrust engine for the AMCA program, Rolls-Royce has also proposed redesigning the turbojet core of this engine to incorporate a large front fan, enabling the development of 280 kN high thrust turbofan engine suitable for future transport aircraft for the Indian Air Force or civilian aircraft by National Aerospace Laboratories. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, my God.